working on Gmetrics Word Expert Practice Exam 2. We're currently on the fifth project called Rejection Letter. The first task asks us to go ahead and go, uh, display all markup for the document. That's on the Review tab in the Tracking Group. We're going to click No Markup to All Markup. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 2 asks us to go ahead and replace the applicant name, uh, address, city, state, zip, and we're just going to add a address block. So what we'll do first is go ahead and select those three lines and hit the delete key on our keyboard. We're going to go to the mailings tab here at the top and in the right and insert fields we'll just click address block. It tells us to go ahead and select default so we'll go ahead and uh, click OK. And we'll click mark completed. Task 3 asks us to go ahead and uh, create a macro. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and just go to a line down here at the bottom to do this. Uh, the first thing we need to do is go to the View tab. We're going to go to the Macros group. We're going to click Record Macro. We're going to click Signature. We're going to save this and this letter, rejection letter. If you do not have rejection letter here and it says a bunch of numbers, it should match here at the top a bunch of numbers. So um, if that rejection letter is not there, that's what you want to look for. We'll click the keyboard so we can set the, set the shortcut. We want to hit the Control Alt and 9 on our keyboard. We'll click Assign and we'll click Close. Now my cursor's changed. It has a little tape that's recording everything that I'm doing currently. So the first thing what we'll do is uh, we'll change the font. So we'll go to Home and we'll select Papyrus. We'll select 18 size font. And then what we need to do is type in Hideki Tomo. And then again, my cursor is still recording what I'm doing. If you look closely, it has that tape. So we want to stop our macro. And we'll click uh, the macro drop down, stop recording. And we'll go ahead and delete this text. We'll click Mark Completed. It tells us to go ahead and create a company fault font. We're going to be on the design tab for this question, and uh, over here, the fonts drop down, customize fonts. It tells us we want to call this company font. The heading is going to be Times New uh, Roman, and the body font is going to be Arial. And we'll click Save. And we'll click Mark Completed. In task five, it's uh, we're going to go ahead and add the French traditional new spellings. Uh, so we're going to go to the File, Options, we're in Proofing, and uh, right here under French Modes, we're going to click the drop down and click Traditional and New Spellings, and we'll click OK, we'll click Mark Completed, 